Level 6, grade D, percentage increase and decreases. Now at this level, increase and decreases by percentage should be taught as a two-step process. So we're, we're working out the percentage of the amount and then we're either going to increase it by adding on that amount or decrease it by subtracting that amount. And we're going to build on the skills you should have learnt uh, at level 5 or level 4 of working out a percentage of an amount. So to increase £12 by 5%, we're going to work out 5% of £12. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Um, the way I would do it is I go down, change the 5% into a decimal and realise that of means times. So when I'm trying to find 5% of £12, I'm actually just multiplying by 0 0.05. And if we do that on the calculator, 0 0.05 times by 12 is 0 0.6 and because this is money that's not going to be 0 0.60 pounds okay another way that uh, is commonly shown is if I'm trying to find 5% of 12 pounds if I find 1% of 12 pounds first now 1% of 12 pounds is 12 divided by 100 which is 0 0.12 and then I can work out 5% of 12 pounds by times in that by 5 which gives you 0 0.6 um, or 0 0.60 and then we've got the same answer here to increase 12 by 5% we do 12 plus 0 0.60 which gives us 12.60 pounds and that would be our answer we've increased 12 pounds by the 5% we found out which was 60 pence so uh, to decrease same starting point we work out so the percentage of the amount in whatever way you want to do it so essentially the two methods are similar you divide them by 100 and times them by the amount so uh, the calculation is 80 divided by 100 times by 15 or we could do 15 divided by 15 divided by 100 times by 80 Okay, and both of those will give you the same answer. So let's do the first one, 80 divided by 100 times 15, and that's just 12, or if I did 15 divided by 100 times by 80, that's also equal to 12. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way around you do it, so long as you divide by the 100 and then times by the other amount you always get the same answer. So we've got 80 pounds, now this time we're going to decrease so we're going to take away the percentage, so 80 take away 12 um, we could use a calculator for that but we don't need to, we should be able to get the, the 68 and that would be our decrease. Let's go through some examples of that so some practice questions. Okay, if you want to stop the video and have a go at these then uh, I'll just go through the answers afterwards quickly Okay, so going through these quite quickly, we'll do the increases first. Forty-three pounds by seven percent. So I do seven divided by a hundred to work out that seven is a decimal times by forty-three. So seven divided by a hundred times forty-three. That gives us our percentage increase, which is three pound and one pence. So forty-three plus three point zero one. If you leave that number in your calculator, you can just add forty-three and that will give you 46.01 15 uh, divide, uh, by 19 percent, so 19 divided by 100 times by 156 gives us the increase which is 29.64 kilograms and if we add those two together, 156 plus 29.64 is 185.64 kilograms. Uh, 2,000 by 3.5%, so 3.5 divided by 100 times by 2,000. Equal to 70 and I can add that on without a calculator so to get 2070 
now for the decreases same idea working out the percentage 14 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.04 times by 67 so 0 0.14 times by 67 just doing that divided by 100 with that typing in the calculator and then this time I want to do 67 take away the answer I just worked out and that gives me 57.62 okay the next one 5.5 uh, divided by 100 times by 6.734 so 5.5 divided by 100 is 0 0.055 times by 673 3.4 is 37.037 and we want to do 673.4 minus the answer which is 636.363 and this units is kilograms sometimes people get a little bit confused with the percentage but you, you're calculating a value that you need to stick to the same units and the last one, um, I could do this way, but I'm just going to show you a really quick uh, way and see if you can figure out what I'm doing. I'm actually just going to multiply by one value, and that value is going to be 7, 0 0.73, and that would be the answer. Let's see. If you want to know how that was done, um, I've done a video on that on the level 8. It's a bit it's a much quicker way of doing percentages, increases and decreases by using a multiplier.